Once you've downloaded the latest Arch Linux ISO file, make a new virtual machine using the typical setup and select the ISO file. Choose other Linux 3.x kernel 64-bit and name the machine what you like. Give it 50 gigs of hard drive space stored as a single file, then click customize hardware and give your machine 1 gig of RAM or more before clicking close and finish. Now power on your virtual machine and press enter at the boot screen to select the first option. Once it boots, type cfdisk space slash dev slash sda, then press enter and tap the down arrow key to select DOS before hitting enter again. Ensure new is selected, then press enter, clear the text here, type in 1G, then press enter twice. Press left arrow key until bootable is selected, then press enter once again. Now hit the down arrow key, select new, type 2G, and press enter twice. Use the arrow keys to highlight type, then press enter. Press the up arrow key to select 82 Linux swap and press enter to confirm your choice. Now press down to make the final partition, select new, then press enter twice. Now press the right arrow key a few times until right is selected. Press enter, then type yes and press enter again. Now finish up by pressing the left arrow key a few times until quit is highlighted, then press enter. Now type each of the commands I've placed on the screen, pressing enter after each command. Give the computer time to process each command if it needs to before typing the next one. After typing that last command, wait about 20 minutes for the installation to finish and press the down arrow on your keyboard if the screen gets jumbled or goes black. Once it's done, type in the next set of commands one by one pressing enter for each new line. Now type passwd root and press enter. Type in a password then press enter and type it again before pressing enter again. Now type these next two commands. Once you're done, type exit and press enter then type exit again and press enter again. Now finally type reboot and press enter. Once the computer reboots, type root and press enter then type the password you created and press enter again. Next type the following set of commands one by one pressing enter after each one of them. Press enter a few times to accept the default options and when asked if you should proceed with the installation, press Y on your keyboard then press enter. Once it's done, type in the next two commands. Press down a few times to move the blinking cursor and remove the hash in front of Wayland enable equals false. Then press Ctrl X, then Y by itself, and finally enter. Now type reboot and press enter and within a few moments you'll find yourself on the GNOME login screen. Click not listed then sign in by typing root as a username and use the password you created earlier. You are now ready to use your system and it should work in full screen. Fill it up with the software you want by opening Xterm and typing in pacman s followed by the software where's names such as Firefox and once it's installed it will automatically be added to your programs list. Have fun but be sure to create yourself a new user account on the system as solely using the root account is not recommended for security reasons.